In this workshop, we will practice the control underscore implicit underscore general card with in flag equals 4 or 5. This is the dimensions of the model. It consists of a 100 mm times 100 mm square plate with the plate thickness of 3 mm and a ball shell with radius of 30 mm and thickness of 3.0 mm. This is the load and boundary conditions as well as the material properties for the plate and ball shell. Let S build the model using LS proposed. Fully constrain the plate four edges. Constrain four top nodes of the ball in X and Y translations to avoid the ball rotation. Apply a point load on the top center node of the ball. Now create material cards for plate and ball. Create a section shell card.
update the parts with the created materials and section cards. This is the load point node ID. Copy the node ID and we will record this node history information. Create database information. Select stat, matsum, and node out. Create D3 plot using time interval 1 millisecond. Create history node ID card. Just paste the node ID we just copied. Create implicit underscore auto card. Input 1 to minus 5 for admin and 0.01 for max. Input 0.05 dexp. The termination time will also be set to 0.05 second. This is just for the demo of the difference between in flag equals 4 and in flag equal 5. Create implicit general card. Input 4 for in flag. Input 1 to minus 3 for initial time step. Input 50 for NSBS. Create termination card. Input 0.05 for the entim. Create time step card. Just accept the default settings and no mass scaling will be used. Create automatic single surface card for contact control. Select 5 for SSTYP. SSTYP equals 5 include all for single surface definition. No friction is considered. Now the model setup is complete.
save the keyword file and run the analysis. Now we can monitor the message file using Notepad++. The analysis starts with Implicit Solver. When implicit solver could not find equilibrium within the specified minimum time step, the analysis switches to explicit analysis. Since we set the explicit analysis time equals 0.05 second which is the same as the termination time, so the analysis completes by explicit solver. Now let us check the D3 plot first. The ball is in hitting and bouncing mode because the analysis is actually explicit analysis. Check the ball displacement history. It is in vibration mode. Check the plate material internal energy. It is in agreement with the ball displacement. When ball hit the plate, the plate internal energy increase. When the ball bounces back, the plate elastic internal energy release to zero. Change the in flag from 4 to 5. Save the file and run the analysis. Check the message file.
when termination time 0.05 second is reached, the analysis is still in explicit method. Since in flag equals 5, the final step of the simulation must be implicit. So the analysis is changed from explicit to implicit. The convergence is then reached and the analysis is complete. Now check the D3 plot file. The ball is still in vibration before 0.05 second because within this time period, the solution is still explicit. Since the implicit solution is complete just in one time step, it will not be visible for the difference. Check the ball displacement, after 0.05 second, the implicit analysis incomplete in 0.01 second which is the maximum time step set in control implicit auto card. Now check the plate material internal energy. This is a very important information to verify your analysis results. Pay attention to the internal energy change after 0.05 second. The internal energy decreases after 0.05 second which makes sense because the ball displacement also decreases after 0.05 second. We can also compare the internal with in flag equals 4 results. This is the end of this workshop. Welcome to subscribe CAE training and consulting channel. Thanks for watching.